Welcome everybody, my name is Derek Ardner and today I'm with Justin Urquhart Stewart and Freya Wordsworth who works with Justin and they've asked me to walk them through uh, social media, what social media marketing I do for my business which I've been running for well over 15 years. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today and I really do help it, I hope it helps you and if you've got any questions email me at uh, action at Derek Arden. So welcome to this session. Now I'm going to share my screen, which uh, has some slides on it, so I can uh, take you uh, take you through the whole thing. And I'm just looking down at the box on Zoom so that I can uh, make sure I'm doing it uh, correctly. So here we go. So uh, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Derek Arden, marketing you you on social media. In other words, marketing yourself. So, first of all, let's talk about LinkedIn. For business users, LinkedIn is the most useful platform at the moment. I say at the moment because these things do change. So we need to keep abreast of it. I keep abreast of it through my pal. So Justin's with me. There's his profile, uh, co-founder at uh, Regionally, etc., etc. I've had a quick look at uh, Justin's uh, profile and. Um, while I was doing that, I put a picture up of Justin when he was appearing on my uh, live uh, chat show. And I put fantastic interview with Justin Urquhart Stewart on my live web chat show. Now, the way I did that was on my phone. So I took the picture. Uh, uh, I, I went into LinkedIn on my phone. I uh, put the picture of Justin up because pictures seem to work much better. Uh, uh, on the connections that you get on LinkedIn. Put a picture up and then I put fantastic interview with Justin Urquhart Stewart. I put Freya, at Freya, at uh, Justin, so they saw it and they can share it. It seems to work really well with a picture. Pictures seem to work better than videos, actually. So uh, so that's, uh, that's what I did there. The second thing is I had a quick look at Justin's profile and I saw that it was wrong. So always pass on, if there's any email addresses that are wrong, pass that on to your clients in a very sensitive way because people do get a bit funny if you make comments like that. Then I posted the LinkedIn post onto Twitter. So then I took a screenshot of the LinkedIn post and put it on Twitter. So fantastic interview with Justin on my live chat show and then i put hashtag motivational speaker hashtag finance hashtag uh, finance industry hashtag mike ogilvy who knows justin who might share it because we want people to share jane gunn who knows justin etc and wendy stott although i couldn't find wendy's hashtag which was interesting so but i put it up here put it up anyway so that then went to now the next thing Frey, you could do is you could post the same thing on facebook so the uh, mm. the business ones that we want are LinkedIn first, then Twitter, although Twitter's becoming less and less important, and then onto uh, Facebook, and then also onto Instagram. Now, Instagram is more business focused than Facebook, but it depends. Now, we, have, we haven't used Instagram yet. You think that's worthwhile no. doing? It appears to be, yeah, it okay. appears to be. Um, more uh more social people follow me on instagram but uh, i just use it and i've got it on my phone and i can do it uh Fred, I could do, you could do this in um, seconds it's yeah, very fast seconds, isn't it? really yeah particularly as long as you're working off a good iphone a good iphone is the answer this is iPhone. unfortunately not <laughs> well yeah uh, very I, I find not iPhone Huawei. Even... yeah sorry what did you say there yeah. A very uh, amateur Huawei I've got, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we maybe maybe we should talk about that. Certainly, <laughs> iPhone, a good iPhone, very intuitive, very easy to do with these things. Derek, now, one you... other question. When you mentioned about the hashtag, what impact does the hashtag have? When you put hashtag finance, um, I'm sorry, it's probably a dark question. I should have asked oh, this question about eight years ago. It's a, it, it's a great question, actually. Um, the hashtag... So I came up as um, my, my, um, my post last week came up as trending in motivational speaker. I'd put hashtag motivational speaker, which is a good hashtag apparently. And I put hashtag negotiating or negotiating speaker. And therefore if other people are searching for that and it becomes popular, then you trend more. I see. So you pick, you pick a, a potential search word. 
and link onto that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my my webman's looking at that, and I'll ask him for a bit more advice on that, Keith, uh, as well, because mm. we learn as we go along with these things. But the hashtag, in your yeah. case, you might put finance, financial expert. Uh, I put negotiating expert, and I'm playing around with them. But last week, motivational speaker came up. Um, mm. I was trending under motivational speaker. Well, fine, that's great. We want to be trending on anything if we can. Mm. Uh, How do you know which hashtags might be um, useful or might be the ones that really get you out there more? Because I've been playing around with a few different hashtags and some just seem not to work or not to make any difference. And no, I don't to know which ones I'll, are good. I'll, yeah, no, I, I, I think there's a, I think you can search for that. I'll find mm. out and I'll get back to you on that. I often think that maybe sort of more niche or more specific hashtags so that people that are really specifically looking for those sorts of things yeah, come yeah. across your posts more often or, or maybe even the opposite. You are right, <laughs> but, so you need to think what Justin's real USP is here and what, what your mm. objectives are. So are your objectives the business or are your objectives getting Justin more speaking uh, engagements on the BBC and the ITV? And it might be the mm. latter, to be honest, it might be the latter because from that you'll get a bigger exposure than um, them just pointing them at regionally so that yeah. and do these cross would these cross over as well with some of the keywords that uh, uh freya's been looking at for us in terms of uh, optimization with google and things like that yeah so including keywords and articles mm -hmm. and things absolutely the keywords would be what you want to put the hashtags on absolutely. yeah it's, it's okay 80 percent out the same department 80 percent out the same department i think okay good i'm no, pretty, that's, that's, I'm pretty that's sure but these things change around so keywords and hashtags absolutely you're in the same you're in this in the same ball game but it helps if you've said that in in the post on linkedin and the post mm. on so if you've said uh i don't know lockdown then you, mm. you know then you might put lockdown but remember right. no gaps on the uh, no gaps on the hashtags so if you go motivational speaker it's one word Right. Okay. So if you name financing the lockdown, if you use that, that will be one word. So that probably wouldn't get picked up because it's too okay. off. Too long. Yeah. Off beam. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good point. Thank you. I'll carry on. Yep. So Hootsuite is a site I use for putting motivational posts up on LinkedIn and um, Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so what I'm saying is once a month I put these quotes up and then Hootsuite takes care of posting them over the month. So if we take, can you see my mouse moving around there? Yep, yeah. yep. So if we said today, Wednesday the 24th, I've put a post up at 6.20, uh, which says something like, I can't quite read it, sometimes it's easier to go with the flow than uh, take somebody on. Uh, 8.30 a post is going up, a peer week, a peer week when, you, when you're actually strong in the negotiations. So this cost me uh, $14 a month and I put these posts up via uh, an Excel spreadsheet and they just go out. Mm -hmm. Does it work? Don't know. Gets me more exposure mm -hmm. on social media, so it's great. So off, um, so Freya, I could show you how to do that. Yeah, I did a trial period of, of Hootsuite actually when I first started with Regionally and I think it was really useful and I wanted to go back to it when I was more, um, had more things to write about, I suppose. Sure, sure. So you could put, uh, and I can show you how to manage a spreadsheet as well because I've, got, I've, be, I've become quite adept at that and I put the Brilliant. same dates up every month and all I do is change the dates. Just <laughs> So it's all three. So it's a combination then of, of Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn all together, and you're programming this in advance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's very absolutely. good. But I don't know how to put a picture up on it, so you do need to do the pictures yourself. But Justin, yeah. if you're in the BBC studio or something like that, or you're on Zoom with the BBC, pick up your phone and take yeah. a picture while you're on it. You with um, you know uh, whoever whoever the BBC presenter is, and then you can post via your phone as you come out the studio. Um, right. I just had a fascinating inter interview with Fiona Bruce. We talked about X, Y, and Z. So I'm following you. If I see that, I'll share it. That's what you want. You want those. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, and I've seen people doing that. I often wondered what, you know, what on earth, might, was it just running their own ego, or actually, you know, there was a purpose to it, which is obviously Absolutely. precisely that. 
absolutely. So if I took uh, this, would, I mean, I'll post this. Let's post this later. So camera, picture, um, <laughs> us on the screen. Got so you know, I'll have a coffee in the garden in a minute, and uh, I'll post that. Fascinating, yeah. you know, whatever. You, I mean, you are the master of the language, Justin. The yeah. language you used in that. Um, the language you used in that FT article, I thought it was brilliant. I've kept it because I want to. Uh, I want to use some of those as hashtags. I'm not sure they're. <laughs> so that's Hootsuite, and um, once you get the hang of it, and my son helped me get the hang of it, it's uh, it works. So uh, good. All, okay. All, all mm. good with that. Next slide, YouTube. So. Uh, I've been doing these into live chat shows. You've been on two of them, Justin, which has yep. been fan fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, there's the, that. So the third to last one where my mouse is, is you and I economically and politically and finance. I put up there. I put a few hashtags. The ones I've done differently are here. Um, anything that you do like this, stick it on YouTube and it's very easy to upload to YouTube and, um, these days, uh, Frey, you don't, it doesn't need editing. People are happy with live and uncut. They know it's YouTube. Mm. It's not the BBC. It's just Justin's YouTube channel. And the fact you're saying had this interview with the BBC was in mm. on the radio or whatever. It's all, it's all it's good. Fine. Yeah. yeah it's what not. what do you use? What software do you use to make these videos? Because I've been playing around with some of the. Um, free video makers online just to put in like a, an animated logo at the beginning along with a video of Justin and then some credits but all of them seem to have their own flaws and it's kind of identifying which one works really well which I'm struggling with. I've been I've been used since I discovered zoom I've just been using zoom like I'm recording this with um with you yeah. and Justin's being interviewed by the BBC over zoom or over uh, yeah. Microsoft one then uh, that's right. what I've been, I recorded Justin over Zoom, which was brilliant, um, but then that gives me one video file, and if I wanted to combine that with um, a five second video at the beginning of the regionally animated logo, for example, that's what I've been struggling with, of trying to fit those both together. Well, then, it, then it needs editing, and I don't edit anything, so my webman can edit it, just find somebody who let it edit it for you for twenty five mm. pounds or something like that? I wouldn't yeah. go there. I wouldn't go there yourself because you've got to work out how the software works and everything else. Yeah, I spent that. far too long playing around with all these free sites online, and all of them are useless or put a huge watermark across the front of it, which you don't want at all. I've basically um, employed nobody. I'm. I, I'm. Uh, I like to try and do myself apart from the, my webman who sorts that out, the technical bits. Um, Mm. And, um, Derek, I see you put up a front page on yours, and this is a, a standard thing we'd recommend. So you've got that sort of that same that same slide, then with a picture of whoever the the person is you're featuring. Yeah, that Keith week. did that for me. My web man, he just came up with it. Um, you, <laughs> yeah, you need that's the front page of YouTube, and then you just click on it, and uh, then the then the video starts. So Keith did so that for me. He did so that it's worth second. having a so it's worth having a front page for ourselves on YouTube. Yeah, right. Front, and front page for each video. You front page for each video. The reason, Justin, is that if you don't do that, it just takes a clip of you uh, yeah. automatically, and, you, and it could be it could look like this. You know, yeah. it could be, and, and you yeah. don't want that. So he put that up, and then it just starts with no editing. So Freya, there was uh, somebody talking on Zoom as I started, and of course their picture came up, but I just ignored that because uh, if people are going to stay on there and they want to see my uh, information or Justin's information, they're going to stay on there anyway. So um, you can, mm. right. you know, you can have it up in, in about a minute. If you start sending it off to somebody to edit it, then uh, by the time they get back to you, it's, no. it's old, old information. So quite simply then we just have a simple front page or regionally front page or Justin front page or yeah. um, regionally subset Justin or Jim or Freya. Um, okay. That, that all makes sense. And then one thing you told me as well, because we've got quite a lot of stuff on YouTube, but it's all ancient. Uh, so clear all that out. I clear all the seven investment management things out because that's right. what you're, you're aiming at regionally and you're aiming at Justin Urquhart Stewart. I almost think there's, there's two things there. You could link them both. You could actually have two YouTube channels, one for you yeah. and one for regionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could almost post the same things on each. There's no harm in that. Yeah, that's that, at the moment, that's what I've really been doing with the regionally LinkedIn page is posting a lot of Justin's videos on there. Um, 
through that as well as through Justin's um, own page as well. So, That'd I mean, nice. so okay. yeah, yeah. It depends. So, well, like, so, so we've got two bites of that then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some people are searching on regionally. Some people have been searching on Justin mm, and yeah. they won't be, they won't be, they won't be searching on both. And it's great content for both. So it, it, it kind of kills you both with one stone. So our interview, Justin, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I don't know where the slide is, but our interview has been posted on YouTube and yep. uh, the Negotiators podcast, which is my podcast channel. Now, oh, right, honest, okay. I have no idea what the benefits of both are, but we're getting two bites of the cherry. Yeah. So, um, and Keith can take, uh, my webman takes both files. I'll send them to him immediately. He takes both files. They're separated by Zoom. One's an MP4A and one's an MP4. And um, one's the audio channel, one's the video channel, and he just puts both of them up. Okay. Uh, I'll also show you. So age, this is, sorry, carry on. So just in terms of age, uh, how long should we leave things up for? I don't know. I've left all my things up, actually. Okay. I've left right. all mine up, but the brand is Derek Arden. Right. The brand's so, Justin Urquhart Stewart. I don't see a problem with that. But if the, if, right. if, you, if the brand was Seven Investment Management, then obviously I not do. separated up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Carry on. Um, Sorry. With yours, um, I'm just thinking if the information's out of date. Yeah. But on the other hand, the, frankly, the more stuff you've got, the BBC, uh, Bloomberg, any of that, leave it mm. up. I would have thought. This is my okay. um, this is my podcast channel. Okay. Just so just to show you. So Keith put uh, this this up. I, I don't know why that picture's. Not quite wide, but we don't worry about that. Justin Urquhart Stewart, Finance, po Economics and Politics, June 2020. And then if they clicked on it, they can download it to their phone and it's a podcast. They can listen to it on the train, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is the beauty of Zoom. It's just so easy. Mm. Now, Freya, you might learn to do that yourself or you might just have some friendly person that can, can do it. I've already actually you. done that because Zoom is brilliant. It downloads that audio file, doesn't it, as well as just the video file. It's fantastic. Well, it sounds like you're on it. So that's great. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> um, yeah, then fantastic. I'm moving. So that's, that's the web. But there's a couple of other things on the web that, um, that, that uh, you might be interested in. I need to investigate, but I can't do too much. One's pin it, Pinterest. Pin in Pinterest. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. I, yeah. I've got that. Yeah. I get a lot of my archaeologist archaeological stuff through that. Okay. Well, I you think might... that's a lot more with creative things, isn't it? That's for if you're if you're trying to do something to do with the design or um, sharing so. sharing things like that. I, I would have thought. Yeah, I think so. I've never I'm really not... explored it that much myself. I'm not really sure, but I, I think if you're doing LinkedIn, you're doing Twitter, perhaps Instagram uh, and Facebook, perhaps mm. um, then. You don't want to do too much. I don't think so. Anyway, mm. that's um, now I'm going to move on to my newsletter. I've been doing my newsletter for a long time. And Freya, I see you do a newsletter for Justin, don't you? I think. Or you send something out once a week. Yeah, or... I do a, a short sort of um, yeah. a weekly that Justin's written. Well, I use Constant Contact to do that. Constant Contact costs me um, $78 mm. a month. And uh, this is the uh, newsletter I sent out on Monday. This is the one with Justin on it on the 15th. I sent 4,100 out. I had an open rate of 15% and I had a click through rate of 9%. And if I clicked on that, I can see who clicked and I can see wow. who opened it. So I've got lots of back end information. Is it useful? Don't know. Um, but I can see. Uh, um, Alison Britton, uh, we work with in Barclays, Justin, she's the CEO mm. of um, Whitbread, and I can yep. see if she opens it. Sometimes she opens it and I could call her or yeah. <laughs> all, all sorts That's of... That's really great because I, I, I started out using, um, so, uh, what was it, um, the, the MailChimp, that was it. it took me a minute MailChimp. To remember that. Yeah, yeah, but we found that it was a bit difficult because it often went into people's junk folders when you send it, sent it mm. through MailChimp. Yeah, um, really and I just stopped using it and just started sending it um, individually, which is time consuming and you can't personalize it as much. Um, people, so if I found an alternative, that would be amazing. Well, Constant Contact and MailChimp are fairly similar, okay? Um, mm. And you have to take the risk. I mean, really? I can't send 4,100 out, can I? By no, hand, exactly. Yeah. And I've but built that, that, 
I've built the list up by whenever I speak in front of anyone, I capture their email addresses and I capture their email addresses by saying, by the way, I send out a briefing on negotiation skills uh, once a month or once every two weeks. And I'd love to have you on it. 4,000 people subscribe to it. And if you just uh, sign up on this piece of paper I'm passing around, I'll make sure that uh, you're on it. That really works. Okay. Mm. If you say, hey, give me your business card, they don't. And the mm. reassurance they can unsubscribe at the bottom, etc., is is really good. So this yeah. works for me, and I can share with you how I do it if you want. So uh, uh, that's the one I sent out on Monday the fifteenth with yeah. Justin on with the links on. The links are very easy to put on Freya, so you can send um, mm -hmm. you can link it to uh, Justin's article. You could list link it to the BBC website where Justin might be on or or anything and what what i like is a bit of like a sort of um, newspaper page isn't it mm. there are lots of different things on there yeah so you're not just reading someone's you know, wretched article that week there are a combination of issues sure and that with the combination of that back data but that back data in terms of opening could you get that on mailchimp as well for but um potentially i think i think mailchimp does have its limitations this one um... that sounds better in terms of getting that information who's opening it um, yeah, I agree. Getting it early. That sounds a lot better. But also, yeah. I like the layout of actually providing something which is not just an article, yeah. uh, maybe a link to an article, but it's actually um, you know, a newsworthy sheet which people yeah. are more likely to look at. I think because when yours comes through, uh, Derek, I, I don't know, it's, it sounds silly. I do actually look at it. I do actually look at it because there are a combination of issues there. Uh, some I don't want to read, but other bits I'll always pick up. Your, for instance, your quote yeah. of the week or whatever it is. It just it just needs to be some hooks, Freya. Um, um, yeah, okay. Uh, talk to me about that, Freya. Before you do anything, I've got another idea uh, on that. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, just I'll keep going, and then we can pick it up afterwards. So this is the back end of it. So Ed Althans, I work with him Barclays. He's still interested in what I do. I can see he opened it at one thirty-three in the morning. Sad chap. Um, exactly. and looked at it. Um, uh, the slide moved on quickly there. So uh, on, so last week's one, 617 people opened it out of 4,106. That's good. I was, I was disappointed when I saw that. Then I asked the experts. They said that's good. 17.1 percent. That's brilliant. 67 percent on their desktop. 32 percent on their mobile. Uh, 503 bounced. 3,600 were delivered, but 617 pound people opened it. So I got at 617, six, 617 people into their inbox and they opened it. So Sorry, another six, silly question, when, it, when sure. it bounces, does that mean that the email address is wrong or something? Probably, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so we can then cross them off or whatever. When I, I, I'm sure when I spot it, when you moved from seven, yeah, uh, I had to manually go in the back and change it. And if I hadn't thought about it, um, it would that would be a bounce. That would be a bounce. Okay. Yeah. And that click rate, ten percent. So they clicked through to get something. Yeah, they clicked on one of the links I put in there. Got it. Okay. Which could yep. have been your article, could have been a come on my course or anything. Right. That's so for, we could have a whole series of things on there. In terms yeah. of people wanting information or clips of people or whatever yeah. it's something that i wanted to do for regionally as well as um something to remind everybody of what, what we're up to and and how to keep everybody involved i think it'll be really useful yeah. yeah very good very good now my experts tell me that you don't want to say i'm doing this you want to say this is what you will get if you do this so it's the ui ratio which is really important it's very ah. difficult not yeah. to write about Oh, so what, you know, uh, welcome to my uh, briefing. I'm doing this this week. No, no, that's, that's wrong. It's uh, if you click, if you click on this link, you will get you, 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 you. <laughs> so if you that's get a good, minute, very look, good point. Look at my interview with Patricia Fritt. She's, um, she's one of my mentors. I'll send you the link. Mm. And she's probably one of the best speaker coaches in America. She's in San Francisco. And, uh, um, and uh, she's just on to people all the time. No one is interested in you. They're interested in what you can do for them. And that is a mindset change around yeah. when you write things. But uh, I think you're good at that, Justin. But uh, I'll have a look no. at your next article and uh, tell you what <laughs> I think.
it's by mistake if it is but no <laughs> thank you for that yeah um and finally uh, this is what uh, graham and i are using and i put this slide on the back end third of november uh, we are um, and graham freya knows much more about this than i do he's called the internet psychologist uh, and he, he knows how to use the internet and sell and he's a great pal of mine justin knows him we ran the speaking association together yeah. and we meet every six months to uh to run this really we decided to um we decided to uh, meet anyway in a in a hotel for every six weeks six months and then we decided why don't we invite other people why don't we invite some friendly nice people and we can share everything that's going on and they're uh, on our top masterclass website we've got a couple of videos of us again and when you're using uh when you're using constant contact of course you can put links to video clips you can put links to youtube mm. and the beauty of it is that um a box comes up it shows a link up comes the back end and all you do is uh, put the link in and you put click here it yeah I can't believe how simple it is for no that's brilliant yeah someone like me so um I'm just going to uh, turn the recording off in a minute. Uh, have you got any questions while we're while we're we're recording? I've um, got plenty of questions, but okay. I don't want to fill out the recording. Okay, well we'll take those offline. So to summarise, number one, LinkedIn. Number two, Twitter. Number three, Facebook. Maybe in your case, is the brand regionally, or is it uh, Justin O'Carr Stewart? And uh, mm. you could have two two for that and you could post on both um then um think about instagram maybe pin interest hootsuite posts it up automatically then you come to um then you come to a, a newsletter briefing i call it an executive briefing that seems a bit well, sexier than a newsletter and yeah. um, you can use the back end i use constant contact i'll talk to you about that offline freya i've I haven't mentioned my website, my vlog, and my blog that's on the website. And the reason is it seems to be down this morning when I tried to take that. So again, my webman often posts things on there as well. So I've got over a thousand blog articles. Um, but and do you, uh, do you do many video? Well, are they called vlogs, but the video equivalent? Well, what I did, I didn't until Zoom came about. But now he right. can put it on a. He can put this on on the video blog and it mm. didn't need setting up. It didn't need someone working the camera for mm -hmm. you and everything else. So life's got uh, so much, uh, so much more uh, simpler. So yep. thanks for watching this YouTube clip. My name is Derek Arden. I'm uh, with my pal, Justin Urquhart Stewart, who you will see uh, and his uh, lovely PA uh, assistant Freya and mm -hmm. uh, get back to me action at Derek Arden. Uh, God, they don't call her that. She's the, she's the executive of the business. <laughs> executive managing director of the business <laughs> so you clearly need to uh, adjust any faux pas like that so we all make well, I'd say the title apparently is marketing executive so we'll yeah, right. go with that yeah. one <laughs> very very important so look at all my uh, youtube channels etc and everything else and i look forward to hearing from you and good luck with all your business thank you very much indeed Thanks, Derek. Derek. that was really helpful thank you Derek. that was really 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 helpful <laughs>